What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Kaldheim draft. For those who don't know, our record so far is 302130. So I feel like we'd have to get pretty lucky to continue that streak. I mean, we're going to try, for sure, but. Oh, what up, guys? <laughs> oh, okie dokie. Black white it is, guys. Black white it is. <clears throat> Nothing terribly good in this pack. Binding of the Old Gods is good. Uh, Wither Crown is good. Yep, we're definitely taking Kaya, though. That seems fantastic. <sighs> Uh huh. Yarl might be the best card in this pack. I think the three three is fine. Uh, actually, Starnheim Corsair might I might like that better than Yarl here. I don't know what you need to first time live best figure. Oh, what up, Belgium? MTG Quilt, really appreciate it, buddy. I'll I'll just take the the Corsair here. Yeah, so we we drew, we did three drafts last night and I actually enjoyed them quite a bit. So I was like, you know what? Let's do more. You guys are lucky this is a good format. I got this scavenging news in the mail today. It's probably going to be completely transparent due to the green screen, but it's one of the, it's a secret layer one. It's going in the cube and it's they're super sweet. Um So this actually this pack's pretty interesting. Thank we could you. take the snowfield sinkhole. But I think like iron verdict is probably better. Like this is basically one mana. Oh, what up, Brett? Baron Von Vaderham. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Um, so I think we're going with Iron Verdict or Sinkhole. I think this is, as far as removal goes, this is better than, like, Way Down. <sighs> Wither Crown's also fine. I think I'll just take the Verdict here. We can also just splash the Kaya as well, so. Alexa, what's the temperature? Right now, it's 51. It's actually really, really nice out. Um, return is actually interesting. We can't get our Kaya back. That's okay, though. I might just take... Actually, Dogged Pursuit seems interesting. Like, what if we can get a bunch of Dogged Pursuits? <laughs> Could just be Snow Covered Swamp as well. I'm going to take Dogged Pursuit here. We're going to see what we can do with this card. Thank you! UCI, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. We are two in two months. Any good names for it? I thought that was your job. I thought you were going to name our child. Uh, Wither Crown seems fine. I don't think we have a Village Rights deck. But I do like being able to take out a lot of the creatures that they have in order to protect our Kaya. <clears throat> I do kind of like how this is looking so far. I'm expecting it to not snow in a couple days. Also, in not a couple days as well. Mm -hmm. To 
Divine Gambit is not great. I'm going to take the Snow Covered Swamp. Like, there are things that we could actually be using Snow Covered Lands for. Here's a rune. It's the lifelink rune. We do draw a card when it comes into play. We could also just take snow-covered planes. Raider's Carve. Again, I thought this card was fine when we were playing it. I might just want snow-covered planes, though. Yeah, we'll just take the planes. None of the other cards are really exciting. Uh, I do like Jarl. I think he's fine. Priest of the Haunted Edge is also kind of okay. We have two snow-covered planes. Snow-covered land so far. Unless we can get a little deeper... I'm going to take Woodland Chasm in case we want to splash a green here. Yeah, We'll just take the Volatile Fjord instead. Take 4-4, four, four, I guess. Take an invoke. <coughs> Snow is mostly just cold water. I'll take a grizzled outrider. Maybe we just play it. Who knows? Okay. Yeah, we're just taking Feed the Serpent. I hope this Beskar Shieldmate comes back, but this pack is not very exciting. Artex Tree Line would also be sweet, because then we have two lands that tap for green. But uh, Feed the Serpent is easily the best card in this pack. Um, Glorious Protector seems great. Oh, wow. 3-4 Flying Flash is already good by itself, but then you get to exile things, you get to foretell it. Wow, that's really sweet. That's really nice. Thank you. If Wither Crown or Elder Fang come back, I'll be pretty grateful. Is that another Wither Crown? Jeez, they're just throwing these Wither Crowns at me. I mean, these these pretty much just kill most creatures you put them on, right? Like, it's not like... There's so much removal, right? Like, we have a Wither Crown and Iron Verdict. Feed the Serpent. I'm just going to take the other Wither Crown. Another Wither Crown. All right. Um, each opponent loses X life or you gain X life. It's 2-5 for 4. I mean, we have a lot of 4 drops right now. Uh, I don't think it's another Invoke. I don't think it's Shimmer Drift. Oh, Team Jabro with the raid. What up, my dude? What up, everybody? Welcome, welcome. I'm just going to take the... Actually... Whatever, I'll take this guy. The land isn't super relevant for us just yet because we just don't have a use for it. Wow, bound in gold? We're going to have like a... How many creatures do we even have? Five? Ugh, God. I think we have enough removal. I think I'm just going to take the shield mate because I just want to have some creatures. Seems so much worse. Oh, well, it's okay. We got a mountain gold anyway, so. <laughs> don't, don't worry. Thank it's you. It's okay. Oh, my God. Brett with the 10 more gifted subs, dude. Oh, my God. Thank Brett, you. You are amazing, dude. Amazing. And I'm a, I'm a big fan of your work. I'm a big fan. Thank I appreciate you. you. Brett, you're fucking awesome, dude. Thank you so much, man. 
I'm gonna take Kai's onslaught. I don't think we're gonna play it, but it's better than anything else. Thank in this pack, you. Really. Um. Thank you. I think it's just Gold Maw Champion here. I'd rather have a two three than a three one, and I honestly. Thank you. I, we don't have any way to take advantage of us milling ourselves. I'll take the Trickster God's heist, whatever. Thank okay, you. And a third. Wither Crown. Oh my god, Brett, you're awesome, dude. Thank you. B -b 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 bananas. Thank you. And nothing. Apparently there is no one in red or blue. Thank hmm. you. <laughs> I'll have you know I can't watch that video without those clips sticking out like a sore thumb. <laughs> Timothy. Oh, man. That Keen Peel skit is great. Man. Thank you. Man. Oh, Kerwin with the resub? I appreciate it. I'll take it. I'll take your resub. Whenever you cast your second spell. We're not red, so that's not good. We're not red green. I mean, I like 3 6. It's just a big dude. It's probably better than this 3 2, right? This guy's pretty sweet, but we have no way to cast it. Like, we're not blue, and we're not even foretelling that much. So. Um, honestly, I did not consider the Scarecrow, but that's my Thank fault you. more than anything. Ugh, this guy's really good. Uh, huh. How many invokes do we have? Two? I mean, I'm tempted to just take this guy and see if we can find a red for it. We have a lot of four drops, though. I assume one of these. This guy's foretell. Put two of these have foretell, so. Yeah. All right. I'm going to take this guy. This guy was insane when we played him last time. Again, we might not be able to play him, which is fine. But there are dual lands. I guess this guy's just fine. Do I want a second Yarl? I don't think so. Like, we just don't have enough creatures. Four damage is pretty sweet. Yeah, I'll just take this guy. I mean, as far as a... Like, Yarl's just better as a 3-2, as a, as a right? No, we want more three. I don't know. I don't know. Another woodland chasm. We have nothing that really cares about the snow right now, though, so I'm not really super concerned with that. We also have no green cards we really care about, except for, like, Grizzled Outrider. I mean, it might just be Infernal Pet. It's still just a 2-2 two -two for... 2-2 two, two for 3 that can fly, it can get bigger. I don't think we need another removal spell. I don't think we need another 4 drop as well. So, Man, I was really hoping this was the, the black-white one, but the black-white one is actually black. I'm just going to take Shimmer Drift Veil, because if we want to splash this guy, it makes it easier. Another Dogged Pursuit. Interesting. I'm going to take the second Dogged Pursuit. Oh, a Bound and Gold? Wow. So we're literally just... We're just trying to get rid of all their creatures and then win with either, like, Kaya or multiple Dogged Pursuits.
The Beskar Shieldmate did not come back in the first pack either, so. Hmm. Hmm. No. No. It's the only viable option here, unfortunately. This actually making treasures could help us cast Immerstrom Predator. I really don't think any of the other cards are any good. Actually, Rays might be decent. We actually have quite a few clerics. That seems fine, actually. Eh. I don't think we actually have any reason to play these Snowlands. Oh, also, Master Scald seems significantly better now that we have two Wither Crowns. Just being able to get Wither Crowns back is pretty decent. And unlike something like Bound in Gold, like they, it's it's much more likely they're going to come back. Or they're going to go to the graveyard. Does they look cool not count as a reason? That does count as a reason, actually. I literally need one more playable. That's funny. Revitalize might be the play. <laughs> Is it just third Wither Crown? You get a Wither Crown. You get a Wither Crown. How many creatures do we have? 11? Oh, I don't know if that's even enough to play Immerstrom Predator. Unfortunately, we actually don't even have any more creatures. <laughs> that's kind of funny. I mean, could splash green and play, like, Grizzled Outrider. Like, it might be better than this guy. We just don't have enough creatures to sacrifice to really make this guy worthwhile. Oh, uh, there's no site I use, and I don't just find them randomly. I actually, I mean, you just gotta Google them. You just Google the clips and turn them into sounds. Like, I think we're definitely playing the third Wither Crown, especially with uh, Master Scald. The problem is I don't think either one of these is really worth, like, messing up our mana for, but on the same hand, like, we don't really have many other options. This is funny because it's like we have multiple cards that are like, if this is your second card you've played, and I'm like, well, it's, it's not. We have a, we have a good we have a number of elves as well and warriors. I think this is going to be better than this. I don't know. It seems weird. Oh dear. One, two, and I'll probably just add another. Okay, let's just do greens here. Yeah, I think this is fine. I, I think I actually might want Uh, 
another planes. Because this is eight, nine, six, seven, eight, and then three. All right. I, I don't know if this deck is any good. I think we I think we didn't see all the playables that we wanted to see. Or maybe we saw them and I just took them really poorly. This is fine. How can it be better if you cut all the red? I have to time you out. Well, that's fascinating. We didn't, I don't think we saw any of this guy. Orzov on Orzov violence. first strike so you're not where we want to be i'm gonna play this because next turn i just want to play doom scar oracle and uh attack with the carve although if we draw a swamp we're just gonna play dogged pursuit instead Or we can play Courser. And then Dogged Pursuit costs three. And Wither Ground costs one. Why the boats don't have Island Walk? It's a valid question. Why aren't they attacking with this Raptor? There we go. Okay, well. Come on, Swamp. I always do that. Oh yeah, take that action. That's a land we're not drawing next turn. <laughs> Why the boats don't have Island Walk? I do remember putting black sources in my deck. What is this guy? Cleric, human, human, elf. So we have two clerics and two humans. If we do hit a black source, we can go Courser into Dogged Pursuit, though. So that's pretty good. We did not hit a black source. We can still go Courser into Bound. Come on, one time. Mono, mono white over here. That's pretty wild.
Well, the problem is this doesn't take it off the board. I think we're still gonna like bound the rat, I guess. Why don't you have show phases on? I don't know. Now I have it on. Wait, does that is that just this thing? That's surprising. I've just, I don't know. I've never turned it off, so it probably, oh, thank, jeez. Thank. You have reach, right? No? Okay. But nobody ever told you it's the wrong way. Uh. Wow, an 06, huh? Can I just double block this? Do they have a trick? Maybe. We're just taking two here. That's a lot of wither crowns. All the vehicles have land wheel. <laughs> oh, I think they do have a trick. Okay. Here we go. Yep. I had a feeling it was a lot of that was like the perfect thing that you could, uh. Is it worth losing one a turn to keep me from having my. My raiders carve. That is the question. Thank you. Eric, thank you for the resub, buddy. I didn't even see it. Oh, I saw that you asked how the new set was, but I did not see you, uh, that it was attached to a resub. And pernicious dude. What up, buddy? Well... Sure. I mean, these are just, this is like four lands that we just haven't had to draw. Oh wow, I don't even have to choose. They just choose the highest number. 
See, that's weird, because what if there's a card that's like, if your opponent's at exactly 10 life, kill them, right? Like, hit Hitotsugu's second right, or like something like, uh, Faz, what's, uh, Trans, whatever the, the, the one that, where, the one where 13 was relevant, right? So it's kind of weird that, like, they're going to choose the highest, because you might, oh, it's not, it doesn't matter, actually, you don't have a choice. Triscuit Kafogi was the card that mattered. Uh, where X is the great... It's, it's not choose a creature type. They lose life equal to the number of um, creatures of that type you control. It's just they lose equal to the greatest. So, never mind. Forget everything I said. Okay. We got lands. We got the lands. We got the lands to move. Okay. So I'm actually hold this. I mean, what do they get? They get this guy back for four, but they can't cast it on the same turn. Alright. So we're just going to play Swamp. And next turn we can play Wither Crown and the Rat. And then gain some life. Yeah, I assume they're just going to get back the good creature. <laughs> I mean, I'll gladly trade 2 1 for 3 3 here. Actually, next turn we can play Jarl, kill this, and also play Wither Crown on something else. That seems better. Okay, now I want to Wither Crown that, so I'm glad we didn't cast it. Whenever you cast a second spell, look at the top three cards, put one in your hand. Yeah, sure. So. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Wow. This guy rare. This is uncommon. I mean, we've drawn a lot of lands from, uh...
and just took it. I guess having that on board and being able to draw a card every two spells might be worth more than the one a turn. So it's when this creature dies or is put into exile. Hmm, that's pretty good. The problem is they can respond with this. Oh, it's attacking or blocking. Have you announced your new... Th no, I have not. There's no job too tough. Don't worry. I got you. Oh boy. So we also get our trigger here, which is great. And we get a 1 1. Take action, free land. And this is our second spell. So this guy becomes a 4 4. We're gaining 2. Woo, that was a turn, boys. <laughs> so got a 1 1, replayed this, got a forest, got a counter, got 2 life got this out of their hand with no effect. That was like a six for one. Wow. Okay, so they just have mono scorn effigies. And they kind of have to attack with Battlefield Raptor here, right? But they have 13 cards and we have 16. Are we just milling them now? I mean, Kai can also just exile their things. Ghosting feels weird, I know. I mean, next time we're just going to ultimate Kai, right? So I don't feel like we even attack here. I'm just going to play the land, though. I don't feel like I have an incentive not to. Oh, we're definitely ulting her for sure. And then we get her back every single turn. Do you have any other legendary permanents in the graveyard? I don't think so. But that means like there's never going to be a turn where they don't have to deal with the Kaya, so I feel like that should... Sure. 
also glad we played our card. So they're also going to go to like nine cards. Her ult says, during your upkeep, uh, you may cast a legendary spell from your hand, your graveyard, or among your cards in exile without paying its mana cost. So every turn, you can get your Kaya back, basically. You just cast Kaya during your upkeep every turn. You got it. So they got one, two, three, four, five, six attackers. We have six blockers. Seems fine. Oh, Nintendo's. If they alpha, that'd be great for us. We just block everything. How goes the wizardry, my lord? <laughs> uh, we also have 21 minutes, so there's 17, so that's good. We don't have anything to do EOT, right? No. Okay, I like that. I don't think you can beat all of us. Oh, nice. Just not having to draw that is just very good. Six. You finally sacrifice that. You cast legendary spell from your hand, from your graveyard. Oh yeah, we're just casting it from the graveyard. God, Kaya every turn? Like, it's gotta be the end, right? Yes, Kaya can recast itself. It is a legendary permanent. Oh, it's also, you're also casting it. So, like, it counts for our two spells a turn, so now this is going to be a 5-5. Five five. Oh, boy. on top I bet we do I feel like they have iron verdict okay that's actually pretty okay so <clears throat> like okay I'm done with this this is judge of valor T -t -t today junior does anyone know why the clock is like overlapping the timeouts which is kind of overlapping the wins like this is just not well spaced does anyone know why that is okay you're going here and you're going here sounds good okay so nothing happened interesting Sure. 
You get rid of my my ship. You got it. Because Wasi is just a small indie company. It's true. Magnets also sounds like a like a legit reason. Yeah, I can I can get behind that. Um. I almost feel like Raven Wings would be really good. <laughs> hmm. We're literally splashing green for a grizzled outrider. Destroying artifact and shaman creature from flying any good? Like the deal that we have so much removal though, I'm not super concerned with it. <sighs> Take these raven wings, learn to fly again, learn to live so free. We did not draw Glorious Protector. We did not draw Master Scald, which would have been nice with our, our Wither Crowns in the graveyard. Obviously that song is a jam. What are you talking about? Goes without saying, doesn't it? Oh, this is an angel cleric, which is fantastic. Because we have so many other clerics that this is like a two for one. Like, so if we ever just want to get this back, we can get it back with something else. That's also a cleric. Okay. That makes a bit of noise there. That was weird. I don't want to take a creature out. Probably one bound in. Actually, we can probably take one Wither Crown out. Uh, Snap Keep. Snap ums, Mick Keep ums. Let's hope we draw lands, though. Uh, I have seen but not tried the Tibble's Trickery deck. It seems like it seems way too gimmicky. I mean, it's super cute, but it seems like it's really easily disruptible, and you have to have like very, very specific cards in your hand. <laughs> Obviously. That's interesting. Um, I think we're going to name green here. Because if we draw the bear, I want to be able to cast it. We don't have any double white cards. And I think even in our entire deck, we only have, like, one double white card. And I think this might be it. That seems fine. Sure. Less pressure on me? Deal. System on the radio. I think getting Dog of Pursuit down here is good. Because if we get another land, we have a three drop and a two drop we can play, which is probably better than. In my face. Oh, look, it's our guy. It's your boy.
I'm using this instead because Feed the Serpent gets rid of, like, the god. That when it leaves the battlefield, you get your creature back. So I don't really want to put a, a bound in gold on that guy. I think it's a god. It's got pro gods. I do not keep hearing a dog whine. So I'm not sure what you guys are hearing. Yes, Tim, I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, this is just Vraska's Contempt with with the two life gone, but it's otherwise the exact same card. It's instant speed, they both exile, and they cost the same. I mean, in a sense of like, it's good, right? It's a good, uh, they're making progress. Popper needed Brazica's Contempt to deal with the Planeswalkers. It's true. That's pretty good, actually. I mean, we're not getting rid of Kaya, so... I guess we'll get rid of our bear. This is a situation where you want the Doomscar Oracle in your hand. I mean, if we draw a land, I think we just Kaya. Yeah, I don't care about that. Yeah, let's just Kaya here. Actually, I kind of like exiling this. Kai goes to one. But I think that's fine. Because next time we have access to at least two creatures. Okay. Well... That answers that. This rat's getting real big. So now we have a 4-2 flyer, and we're the only one with Dogged Pursuit. And we're just literally destroying all of their creatures. And we have Glorious Protector in the side, in the... Waiting in the wings. I feel like this game is over. Okay, so I think they're. What is this? Isn't a. This is in the. Not not blocking. But I don't know what this could be. What foretell card that could they have, that actually puts a hurting on us. It is Jarl. Good call. Good call. So we just don't block for the rest of the game. That's our... Wow, so that's funny because now we actually have perfect information. Well, except for this new card. But other than that, perfect. I feel like I would have killed the Kaya. <laughs> because if there's if we have any card um that gets rid of bound in gold, which is very possible. 
then we just get rid of the brown and gold. <laughs> and then we still have a Kaya, which is, you know, pretty wild. Uh, I'm not going to take this down. Plus, like, the turn we cast this is more important. We can actually play this EOT, then cast this. They take three, four from this. They go to four, and this guy's lethal, not including the Glorious Protector, so... It is, it is us who had the better black-white deck. I ordered a whole 48 box of Tootsie Green Apple Caramel Suckers on it. Don't say suckers. <laughs> and got 49 in it, so if anyone wants one, feel free. Yeah, I'll take one. I mean, I'll keep this. This seems fine. Do you still get songs stuck in your head when I'm not in chat? God, all the time. Non-stop. Nice. Solid two drop option. A two drop shin, if you will. Okay, we're doing that planes thing again, or we drew mono planes. Oh man, especially Christmas songs, dude. Simply having wonderful Christmas time. Are they missing a land drop? No. Okay, a 2 3 for 3 with no snow mana. Interesting. Eh, might as well play this. You're welcome. Man, that guy's so good. I'm such a fan of this card. Oh, there it is. We did it. Pegasus, Human Warrior, Elf Cleric. All right, so that's not the play. So I think it's three drop this turn. And then three drop, two drop next turn. Oh, 
I like that they didn't attack with this guy last turn. Like, the worst that happens is you trade here. I just tapped out. Fascinating. Still no snowlands, and they're playing ice hide troll. That's interesting. Oh boy, packmate dot deck over here. They got the whole pack, mate. That's good. Very good. We're all very proud of you right now. Simply having wonderful Christmas time. Just this guy, huh? No blocks. Wow, triple pack mate, huh? That's pretty cool. Um, so what do we got? One, two, one, two, three, four, five. We'll have six mana. So we can actually play this and foretell this. Uh, each opponent loses X life. Wonderful Christmas time. Now I'm having a wonder. You should all be having a wonderful Christmas time. They have six cards, we have literal none in hand. You got it. Okay, so they're probably not attacking this turn. Sure. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hmm. Well. They go to six. We could just exile their 4-4. Four, four. Then they have three attackers. We have three blockers. So they have to have removal spell and additional creature. And then we still get to eat some things? I think that's actually fine. There's no job to They're also at six, so they have to like win in six turns, basically.
guy does not have trample. So that's good. Okay, so this is basically fine. And Kaya gets to live. They can give something haste, but then they're taking this guy away, right? So you're not they're not netting a creature that way. Sure. Just that guy, huh? So they can kill both of these. Uh. Oh my god, no blocks! Fuck, I was trying to unclick this! So this is gonna be <sighs> wow, that's so fucking bad. I was literally trying to unclick this as a blocker. Like, I didn't know how to do... I'm like, oh, click it again. Nope, nope, that didn't do it. Let me click no blocks from this creature. Cool. Super fucking cool. Yep, that's not going to change the entire game at all. Wow. <sighs> wow. That's fucking infuriating. Literally could have chumped, had a 1-1. One, one. And a Kaya on board. Next time I can plus this on Kaya so that block here comes back to our hand, get a 1-1, one, one, recast the LM2. Like, that's an insane... Like, that, that would have been the game. Like... <sighs> sure. So insanely bad. You got it. I'm just like so, I'm so irritated right now. They're sure taking, I mean, I feel like they're taking a long time. 21 versus 25, yeah, okay. So irritated about this Kaya play. I'd have a 1 1 instead of a 2 1, but it's still a Kaya. That's really. Just gotta shrug it off. Shrug it off. 
I mean, they're at a point where if they kill the Glorious Predictor, they go to three because of this, then they go to two. Got the big beats going. Everybody's coming in. Okay, but you know I have creatures that can crack back, right? Okay. They're like, oh, that's right. You do have creatures that can, can crack back. I'll take nine here. I'm not really super concerned with nine. It also gives us two attackers and we can tap one of their blockers down. So they actually have to play two creatures here or else they just die. So we go tap this guy down. They have no blockers. They have to have a blocker for this guy and for this guy. Angel puts them to two. That is a lot of guys. All right, so one removal spell and then we're good. Eh, that's a big fat bear. So if we block three things... One, two, say so block these three. We take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we gotta block four things actually. Elf, elf warrior, warrior, warrior. So this is actually gonna deal three. Yeah, I think we might just be dead because they actually played two creatures instead of none. So that was cool. This is what I figured would happen. This guy is definitely going to draw a card. Okay, that's fine. 5-5 five, five on good 3-3. Three, 2-3 three. Three, three on three two one one on six six and you here what does that do four five six seven eight nine well we still might be dead <laughs> three four five six seven oh no wait four five six seven eight nine ten eleven one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have four blockers. Three creatures are getting through. Am I double blocking this guy? Okay, that's not what we want to do. So I'm taking what now? Fuck. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We go to one. I mean, it might be worth killing this guy instead of this guy. No, this guy's just better. Yeah, all right, sure. I guess we go to one here, but we kill on the crackback if they don't have a trick in this one card. Taking four, five, six, seven. Absolutely fucking incredible.
Uh, my last card was a lightning bolt. <laughs> I'm really good at this game. Every card I drew was useful. Cool. Meanwhile, my, my Kaya gets just trashed in the fucking garbage. So that's fun. Yep, none of our sideboard cards are any good. I mean, I think the game single-handedly got lost when we accidentally fucking didn't know how the client works because it's not intuitive. And it, like, didn't, doesn't like, like, I'm clicking on the actual creature to unblock it, to make it not block. And it's not doing it. <laughs> so then I go to the, like, the no blocks button because I want this creature to do no blocks. And then I go to no blocks whatsoever. And I'm just like... I mean, this hand's great. Click on the board? To, like, make one creature stop blocking? Like, maybe, but that makes no sense whatsoever. I do like that we drew that. I can't see them keeping this. Like, I guess it blocks a turn, right? So.
Yeah, it can still boast, but, like, what, are they going to run their guy into this, waste three mana to make a 2-1? Like, that seems significantly worse than anything in their hand. Cards are really good. Yep. The old can't find a second white mana. A classic. If we had a fifth land, we could play the Kaya or Starnhome, Starnheim, Corsair, and Bound in Glory. So next turn, if we get to land, both of these or Kaya would be very good. We get to trigger both of these for this. Mom planes. Okay. Well, it's not terrible. Love to see what that is. Okay. So two. This makes a deal one. Sure. Hmm. 
This equips for one. This actually seems very good. And yeah, it's common. Seems fine. They have two cards. I'm gonna move my helmet. Now we're talking. Six four versus five five. Probably six four. It means they have to spend another mana to put it on this guy. Blocking is better for us here. So I have 19, they have 11. Wow, they've taken seven more minutes than us. Seems good. You know, not for them, but, you know, for us. Interesting. The job done right. Hire. When I say go, you go. Well, this seems good. You got it. I mean, I'm definitely just going to chump this. Or maybe I double block and we still have Glorious Protector that we can just play and plus on to. us because they have the the three damage again or they don't because they suck you'll be fine trust me
supposed to go here, right? I'm going to assume they don't have a haste creature. I don't think there's that many in the format. Oh, that's pretty decent. Let's exile... Exile a creature card from your graveyard. Wait, what? Oh, return an artifact from your graveyard to hand. Let's get rid of this one. Ghosting feels weird, I know. Ghosting feels weird. Man, so we now we have a bound in gold and a Kai at five and seven damage on board. Yeah, that seems good. I mean, if they just draw their deal through damage to us, we're dead, so. If they had, like, Broken Wings, I'm pretty sure they would have used it on this guy. You'll be fine. Trust me. All right, they're at one. Fucking kill me. Are we getting a game three? Wow. Solid top deck, but that doesn't kill us yet. Does it get trample? No. And we have a blocker. And if they kill this guy, we still have a blocker. We go to two. Come on. Okay. Okay, let's go to game three. They have eight minutes. Good lord. I mean, Invoke seems fine. Like, the game for life is fine. They do have at least one enchantment that we saw. Or equipment, rather. I do wonder if Demonic Gifts is any good. I feel like it could be. Actually, maybe. We have so much removal that I feel like we should be hitting it more. I feel like Raze is probably just better. They're doing the same thing, right? They're just making us get back, guys. Yeah, I'm just going to submit like this. We also haven't seen our 3-6 yet, which would be pretty good.
fresh start. Eight minutes to our 17 minutes. Man, this hand is not great. They kept. Yep, not the best draw there. We really want to hit creatures. Okay, that's a creature. That's a good one. Unfortunately, it's just a cat, so like we're probably not going to be able to get it back with anything else. But that's okay. And they're probably going to keep this guy around. It's very good. And give all your future creatures plus one, plus one. Five of four. Still lands, huh? Okay. So I guess if we lose this round, it's because we have one, two, three, four. Eight, eight lands to three spells. That seems about right. I mean, if we can draw spells for the rest of the game, <laughs> that might make a difference, but... Choose blockers. Literally no point of having this guy if he's not blocking, so. baby. Well, to be fair, they're good. They go to 17. We go to nine. So it's very close. And we could have mulliganed. What are you going to do? Yeah, of course. Heaven forbid I block your fucking 5 through with my 2 2. That would have just been a nightmare for you. I don't know why you wouldn't save that for my 3 6 that I'm definitely playing next turn, but okay. I guess because this is lethal on board. Yep, cool. Yep, sweet. That was a fun match. So first game, I misclicked my way to defeat. Third match, they just had it all and we drew infinite lands. Cool. Magic is sweet. Fun game with skill involved. Yep, give me that sweet uncommon that will never go into a deck. It'll just sit there in my account, taking up digital space.
little salty after that round. It was just actual trash, so. Don't know whether we want to make this a white or a black yet, so there's no reason to start with Shimmer Veil. Shimmer Draft Veil. Shimmer Drift Veil. We'll get it right. Yep, I'm making it black. Alright. So I'm pretty sure this guy's just better at foretelling. And also, we can just play this next turn and foretell this guy. Might be better than playing him. So next turn we can go uh, God's Hall Guardian, then the turn after that we can go Doom Scar into Dogged Pursuit. That seems pretty good. Thank you! Oh, Snoozle Move. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. good. Yeah, Fortella is really cool. I actually have been enjoying it a ton. I think it's a great way to use mana. You guys ever feed the serpent? If you know what I mean. Oh boy. Well, I guess they're drawing a card. guy is insane. That card's also fantastic. They're gonna deal this guy five damage. This <laughs> warning <laughs> can't attack or block. Oh boy, our record is currently one-one, and I believe Mutual's fine. Although Mutual has one L. They have four cards. That's pretty good. This guy, this 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 lady is very very good. I, it's actually surprising. It's uncommon. Yep, that card's good too. Super cool. Oh god, cancel that. Jesus, no attacks. <coughs> yep. 
Okay, just that guy, huh? Cool, cool, cool. Wow. So just mono bombs, huh? This guy, this card, the battle mammoth. Nice deck. <sighs> Wonderful. So next turn we take 10. That's cool. I guess we're chumping here so we don't die. Oh wow. The aggression is real. If we do this, we take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sure. And I'm sure they're going to give their guys plus two, plus one, so. Oh, wow. Fucking incredible. Congratulations. You're good at this game. Hey, Kyers, what's going on? <laughs> just hit okay, I'm dead. Like, just fucking let's go. You don't have to do anything else. There we go. God, it's so exhausting. Like. think about it. after i've given all my creatures plus two plus one let me just think about it for a little bit hmm huh. yeah okay okay i'm actually bringing in double invoke we'll take out raise Yeah, like that scene in the film. Do it now! take three here I'm not super scared do you use glorious sand I don't know what that means oh that was pretty good where were you last turn If they want to bond this, it's nice because we have Invoke, so like we could take three, or we can let them bond it. 
And then we can go to their turn and eat one of their guys. I think eating one of their guys is just significantly better than getting extra three points in there. Okay, well oh, that guy's good. Man, three to foretell it with a white, and we of course we only have one white here. That's unfortunate. five mana so we can only do one thing that is unfortunate I guess we're just playing four for you Man, seven mana is just a just an easy thing to get. Let's play. We can also just bound this guy. That seems probably better, right? It's nice because even if they like bound bond bound bound this, like we can actually activate the raider's carve in response. <sighs> yeah, that's fine. I like your big snake. Okay, another white card. We only have one white mana. That's uh, solid. Where we want to be. Oh, foretell is I'm an idiot. I'm looking at the foretell and I'm like, oh god, it costs a white to foretell this. That just means it costs a white to cast it. Why am I? Wow, I think I just had a brain aneurysm. Literally, no one said anything though, so. Makes me feel better because I'm like, you guys are quick to just jump on, to jump on when it's like, it's just plus two plus one. It doesn't get flying, which is pretty sweet. So this would be a, yeah, we'll just play this guy. You didn't know that card had a foretell. It likes that's like literally one of the best parts of the card. Well, no attacks anymore. That's what we figured he'd be doing. They have two cards in hand. I mean, this is like the easiest block ever, right? Okay, this is what I tried to do. I block here, and then I clicked it, and for some reason, maybe it lagged, because apparently no blocks isn't an option. I don't know, man. I need to go review the footage, because... I, I would like a white here so we can play Glorious Protector and invoke the, the Valkyrie. Yeah, I don't care about that. There. Hey, we got the white. So what do they have? They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight power. Seven power. So they can like quad block this, but then we get to eat like at least two guys. And glorious protectorate? Man, it doesn't seem great. There's a lot of things on the board right now.
Actually, I think it's still fine if they want to quadruple block this guy. Well, we got the last card out of their hand, so that's something. Oh, what up, Super Fritz? I thought you were at work, buddy. I am. I'm watching on my phone. Actually, we're probably just blocking with Scald here, right? I'm blocking with both. If they have plus one, plus one, and double strike, I still just want to kill this guy. They didn't make a guy before he died? Okay. <sighs> yep. Seems good. It's really obnoxious. Like I can't even attack here because it's like this this is just a like we just want to double block this guy and take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cool. Like, we're just not winning that race, so. Meanwhile, we've drawn eight lands every game. Kaldheim is worse today than it was yesterday. But, what can you do? Oh good, make a 2-2, two -two, make a 2-2. Two -two. Choose any number of artifact, token, and or creatures you control with different names, and then copy all of them. So we get an angel. Good, 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 good. Not bad. Like attacking just does not do anything. So next turn they get an extra 4-4, four, four, an extra 2-2, two, two, and an extra 2-2. Two, two. Yep, that'll be the end of the game.
Let's draw that second invoke. It's definitely worth it. Oh my god. Okay. Oof. Wow. Still no attacks. I don't feel like we're winning this. Maybe, maybe we're. Maybe, mm. Now I need to draw like one more, one more creature that can crew this in order to start attacking. Okay, good times. I mean, if I have to block with this 4-4 or this 4-4, this one who I actually have to pay a cost to do so is probably just better, so... They only have one snow-covered land. I mean, if they have plus two, plus, plus one in hand, it's really bad, right? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We're splashing green for literally one five five because we just didn't have enough creatures. Sure. I mean, this is going to be a blowout, obviously, but whatever. Like, we blocked in such a way that all of our guys still eat their guys. And we still get the, the, the this guy and this guy. It's actually not that bad. What do you do with a drunken sir? I mean, I didn't. I, I don't know why it was an oops. Like. Sure. That's interesting. I'm not sure the benefit of, like. We're telling this. I guess because if we don't use it, it's just cheaper next turn. I feel like they just block here, but then, like, what do they do about this guy? And then we just get to kill this guy anyway. Oh, God! Fucking this is... Okay, so I'm an idiot. Wow, I'm an absolute fucking moron. Okay, that's terrible. This has been the worst draft I've had I've I've played in a while. I'm I'm not even Okay, so the benefit is you can't actually cast it for four times in your turn to do this. So don't be a moron. <sighs> Fuck. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We actually go to one here and, and that's that's how you throw away games. That's how you throw away games. Cool. Wow. All I had to do was not foretell this. For flashing in a block is just so bad. Oh god. I'm just it's so embarrassing. Six, seven, eight, nine. I'm just blocking this guy. I'll go to three here. Yep, that was terrible. I can't I can't believe we did that.
It's funny because if we actually drew a removal for this blocker, which we have a lot of, uh, we could attack for seven and kill them with dog in pursuit. Now we get to go block, block. We take three and go to one. If they don't block, we win. I think they'll block. Is it just better to get... Like, the problem is we're going to two. But then we go to three. Yeah. I mean, chump blockers are cool, I guess. block everything. I don't know why they're not attacking with these guys. We literally had to block them. Okay, so now we're dead. Oh well. What are you going to do? Sometimes you're a fucking moron and you actually misplay multiple times in a, in a single draft. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.